All right, big development there coming in as far as the Rajasthan crisis is concerned. The Rajasthan CLP has now passed a resolution for disciplinary action against the rebel MLAs. This is a big uh, news that is coming in at this point, a resolution that has been taken uh, for all the rebel MLAs who did not attend the CLP meeting. Disciplinary action are going to be taken now against all the rebel MLAs. And this has been decided following the CLP meeting, the second round of the CLP meeting that had taken place today at the Fairmount Hotel in Jaipur. Right after that, we're looking at this big development that is coming in as far as the Rajasthan political crisis is concerned. The rebel MLAs will now be facing a disciplinary action. That is the resolution that has been now passed in the Congress Legislature Party meet that had taken place at the Fremont Hotel in Jaipur. Now, this is going to definitely uh, brew trouble for all those rebel MLAs who were not part of this meeting because now there is going to be disciplinary action that the MLAs will have to face with. And this has been the resolution that has been taken in the CLP. Meet. Now, what it really means for the rebel MLA is something we have to see and what kind of disciplinary action is taken is also something that is going to be keenly looked at. But this also means uh, that this is a big development as far as the Rajasthan political crisis is concerned. We have been looking at uh, how... The Gelot camp has been uh, uh, saying that they have ha they have the numbers. They have at least over 100 MLAs who attended the CLP meet at the Fairmount Hotel, and there were uh, at least 100 MLAs who had attended the first round of CLP meet that had also taken place at Gelot's residence yesterday. Now we're looking at fresh developments coming in, and this is a huge development as far as the Rajasthan crisis is concerned. The Congress they're talking tough saying that the rebels will be facing action at this point and this has been the resolution that has been taken at the second round of the CLP meet that took place at the Fairmount Hotel in Jaipur where remember at least 100, more than 100 MLAs are holed up since the weekend and since the time they attended the first round of the CLP meet that had taken place at Gehlot's residence in Jaipur. Right after that we had seen uh, that the Gehlot camp MLAs were all shifted uh, to the Fairmount Hotel in Jaipur and today morning we had seen uh, the second round of the CLP meet that was taken place. Let me go across to our deputy news editor Minakshi Bhanja who's been bringing us those developments there. Minakshi, big development now coming in as far as the Rajasthan crisis is concerned. Congress there clearly talking tough, saying that all the rebel MLAs will be facing action. This is definitely going to brew trouble for both the rebel MLAs as well as Sachin Pilot here. Well, uh, definitely, Apurva, it is going to be difficult uh, for uh, Sachin Pilot to continue on this uh, road of stubbornness, as some talk from Congress officials have indicated to us. Uh, because remember, uh, what the Congress was hoping for, and yesterday we saw ample example of uh, the extension of the olive branch, uh, so it, uh, so as uh, so as to term it, uh, from Randeep Singh Surjewala. And also uh, attempts uh, made by senior party leader uh, like Priyanka Gandhi to try and resolve the imbroglio. Uh, but that is continuing. And today's legislative party meet was uh, of great importance where again Sachin Pilot was asked to attend. Uh, he clearly has not shown up. And in this uh, CLP, uh, there was a resolution that has just been adopted uh, by all the MLAs who are in favor of Ashok Gehlot. And they have passed a resolution calling for disciplinary action action against all rebel MLAs. Now, this is uh, very crucial given the fact that the party had left it for these MLAs to decide on the future course of action, on what uh, steps should be taken against those MLAs who are refusing to come back into the party fold. So, like you rightly mentioned, this uh, going forward uh, definitely and a very, very clear indication also from the Congress High Command, which was making all conciliatory gestures till yesterday uh, to have Sachin Pilot come back into the party poll hold for the discussions perhaps if need be uh, travel to Delhi uh, but clearly today again his failure to show up at this legislative party meet is something that has gone against him and now by virtue of this resolution uh, which these MLAs have adopted uh, they have recommended for uh, the strictest action against all these rebel MLAs. Remember Apurva they are also feeling very confident at this juncture uh, because the Shok Gelod government uh, in Rajasthan seems to be very much in control uh, because they yesterday have shown that they have the necessary backing Absolutely. in terms of numbers of MLAs uh, and therefore uh, toppling off Ashok Gelot government at this juncture is something which is uh, near impossible. So that is why uh, Sachin Pilot and his group of MLAs are finding themselves in troubled waters as we speak. Absolutely. And Minakshi, as you pointed out, there were several feelers, several olive branches there being extended to Sachin Pilot since yesterday. 
to reconsider, but he has been unrelenting. But what, according to you, you've been talking to your sources as well. What are your sources indicating? Does Sachin Pilot really have any kind of bargaining power at this point, considering the kind of resolution that has been taken and considering the fact that there were over 100 MLAs who are still siding with the Gehlot camp? Does he have any kind of bargaining power at this point? Well, uh, Purva, you know, in uh, politics, it is said that politics is often the art of impossible. Uh, so the Congress is very well cognizant of that. But as far as evidence on ground goes, we have seen the uh, show of strength yesterday uh, put up by Gelot. And very interestingly, we are also aware of the fact that the central BJP high command uh, is not very keen because, remember, a BJP has constantly, the central BJP has constantly okay. put out the feelers that as far as Rajasthan is concerned, it is diametrically opposite to what happened happened in Madhya Pradesh and therefore BJP is only observing the internal strife within the Congress. Uh, but the internal strife itself, Apurva, has caused acute embarrassment to the Congress party. Of course, they have shown a lot of regard for Sachin Pilot saying that he was almost like a member of the family and therefore various uh, conciliatory and reconciliatory gestures were being put forth by the Congress. But uh, the Congress also had one uh, specific demand for uh, Sachin Pilot, which was this, uh, for Sachin Pilot to come back to the legislative party meet uh, today essentially would have showcased that he is coming back within the Congress fold. Uh, given the fact that that has not happened, uh, the Congress High Command now feels that it is becoming increasingly difficult to go ahead and keep reaching out or keep making reconciliatory gestures, while on Sachin Pilot's part, he continues uh, to display a non-yielding attitude. So that is uh, what uh, the impasse is at the moment. And uh, because of this, uh, the Congress had also left it to its elected MLAs within the state to take the decision on the future course of action to be taken uh, against these rebel MLAs. And just now, a short while back, this resolution has been passed and accepted uh, that they want disciplinary actions against these MLAs. So that uh, resolution, Apurva, uh, definitely now will be compelling uh, the Congress High Command uh, to not be able to turn a blind eye to what's happening internally uh, within Rajasthan Congress anymore. Absolutely. And right now, Minakshi, we're also waiting for further developments at this point because it is going to be extremely crucial to see how the Sachin Pilot camp is going to be reacting to this, considering the fact that uh, the Gehlot camp has made it very uh, very much in place. They have said that they are supporting uh, the Gehlot camp since yesterday. So that, of course, remains a big question as to what happens from now on uh, because will there be any chances of reconsideration or what is going to be the next step as far as the, Gehlot, uh, the Sachin Pilot camp is concerned right now? Well, yes, Abura, you see what has happened is this, uh, that uh, Sachin Pilot uh, has uh, has been up in, uh, in arms against uh, what he feels are internal differences between him and Ashok Gellert. Uh, but clearly, uh, politics is also the art of numbers. The central BJP at this juncture is only observing not keen uh, to topple uh, the Ashok Gellert uh, government in Rajasthan. And clearly, for Sachin, uh, the adequate number which he was hoping for uh, is uh, not available. So therefore, uh, there is no question uh, that Congress at this juncture will be rocking any boat uh, vis-a-vis Gelot. And uh, somewhere, after all the reconciliatory gestures that the Congress has uh, been putting out since yesterday, right from the fact uh, that Randeep Singh Surjewala, uh, you know, addressed the media uh, in a very poignant manner, uh, he tried to term everything as uh, internal. Uh, he also went on to state as to how nothing is irresolvable sitting across the table. He termed Sachin Pilot very much a part of the family of the Congress. And that apart, uh, somebody as senior and eminent within the Congress party as Priyanka Gandhi also reached out to make attempts at reconciliation. But uh, the high command had okay. one demand, which, which was this, that Sachin Pilot showed up uh, for this all-important CLP meet today. And clearly, his failure to do so is sending very negative uh, message to the Congress High Command, which now, Apurva, is in no mood uh, to keep making reconciliatory gesture, gestures uh, to Sachin Pilot. All right, Minakshi, request you to stay with us at this point. We're also getting Ayushman, who's joining us live with further updates on this. Ayushman, this is a big development now coming in and there have been several reconciliatory gestures being put out from the side of the Congress, olive branches there extended, feelers being extended to Sachin Pilot, another chance being given to be a part of the CLP. That did not happen. Now a very strict decision has been taken, a resolution being passed. 
that disciplinary action is now going to be taken against all the rebel MLAs, which also includes Sachin Pilot at this point. Yes, Apurva. In fact, the uh, almost all of the MLAs who were present in the Fairmont Hotel have demanded that all those people who have skipped this meeting, because the second meeting in, the, in two days, which has taken place, and it's a CLP meeting. It was earlier also said by Avinash Pandey, who is the in charge in Rajasthan, that it is the second chance being given to Sachin Pilot and his loyalists that they should come and attend this meeting. And when they did not attend, it was imminent that there, there will be some sort of uh, a discipline reaction against them. And that has been demanded in, in this meeting, in the CLP, it has been demanded that an action should be taken against all those uh, people who have not attended this meeting. Whether the resolution carries the name of Sachin Pilot and his loyalist, that remains the question. It, has, it hasn't been come uh, out yet. But uh, for now, we are also being told that a briefing uh, by the Congress party in Jaipur is expected. Uh, uh, the matter is now getting serious because uh, somewhere, Sachin Pilot, who, did, who is camping in the national capital, had made his intention clear that he won't be going there. And now the uh, demand has come that these uh, there should be a disciplined reaction against all those who have not attended this meeting. Absolutely, and Ayushman, it is extremely important right now because at the end of the day, we're looking at the numbers, which is going to be very crucial. We are, of course, looking at over 100 MLAs uh, who have pledged their support to the Gehloth government. What about the support that Sachin Pilot is having at this point? How many MLAs currently could be facing this disciplinary action who are siding with the pilot camp? Well, uh, Purva, if you go through the uh, number that is coming from the uh, Sachin Pilot camp, the number is somewhere anticipated between uh, 16 to 18. This is what we are being told currently. And if you see, uh, even if these people are facing the discipline reaction, that does not endanger the government of Ashok Gehloth, which is sitting comfortably uh, with the current number that it has. But definitely, uh, the, the question that is coming to everyone's mind is if the Ashok Gehloth government is so uh, comfortable, is in so comfortable uh, position, why the MLA are being held up in the uh, Fairmont Hotel now. That is something which the Congress party can answer. But for now, definitely there, there is uh, an, uh, uh, there is imminent action that is uh, being taken, uh, that will be taken against all those MLAs who have skipped this meeting. And uh, this was the second day and the second CLP which took place in two days, Apurva. And uh, all the loyalists of Sachin Pilot, uh, including the Deputy Chief Minister right. himself, did not attend this meeting. All right, Ayushman, stay with us at this point. Uh, more sources indicating that there was a unanimous demand to expel Sachin Pilot, and this was the demand there put forth by the 102 MLAs who were present at the CLP meet that took place in Jaipur. So there is a unanimous demand now coming in from the Congress MLAs who were there at the CLP meet to expel Sachin Pilot. Ayushman, coming back to you, this is, of course, the disciplinary reaction that has been demanded by uh, the members who are part of the CLP meet. They are, of course, unanimously demanding the expulsion uh, of uh, Sachin Pilot at this point and all the other MLAs. Yes, Sapurva. In fact, if you remember yesterday's resolution of the CLP, in that only it was demanded that all those people who are uh, weakening the government's stance in Rajasthan and also the party stance in Rajasthan should be okay. uh, uh, immediately dealt with and harshest of punishment should be uh, there for them. But uh, another olive branch was extended to Sachin Pilot and it was being said that the senior uh, top leadership is also in contact with him. But today, uh, after this uh, unanimous demand, it seems uh, the doors for uh, the reconciliation reconciliation is almost uh, closed and definitely there will be some kind of action uh, taken against all those people who have skipped this meeting. All right, uh, Ayushman, keep tracking all of those developments. This is, of course, big news that's breaking this minute. And, of course, the, the reaction that will come follow at this point, of course, sources there indicating a unanimous decision to uh, they have demanded to expel a Sachin pilot. These are, of course, 102 MLAs who were present at the CLP meet.